cannot do what people expect us to do. It's just not going to happen. A police chief in a small town is calling for backup to fight an epidemic that gets worse every day. And good evening. New Richmond Chief Randy Harvey is frustrated with the heroin epidemic. What he told Rich Jaffe about the plague in his community is unlike any conversation you have heard. And it's only on Local 12. Business owners and residents of this tiny riverside village have been working hard in the last few years to clean up the community. They've put their first canine drug dog, Gator, on the street and started walking foot patrols. But underneath all the positive efforts, heroin has been gnawing away at the community. We have drug overdoses and, and, and heroin deaths here, way too much for a small village. And when that occurs, um, really there's no prosecution in those situations at all. I mean, nothing comes of it. There's no charges, there's no investigation. It just, because it just simply isn't going to go anywhere. Chief Harvey says that's because every facet of the legal system is overloaded with drug cases. He says many of the drug problems in his village can be isolated to 10 specific properties, like this one on Front Street. They say the key to real estate is location, location, location. Well, this location has become problem after problem after problem. This is a list of the police dispatches to this building since 2009. You can see it goes on page after page after page. A total of 264 dispatches for police to come here and deal with problems. Marie McFarland owns a building across the street where a man she says who is a known drug dealer recently kicked in the door of an apartment to attack the resident. She and the chief say many of those running drugs now are young females on bicycles. They come out in the middle of the street and pass it off and then they scatter. These dealers promise you the world and then give you death. Frustrated and searching for answers, Chief Harvey has invited the Attorney General's office to meet with community leaders on Thursday. This is bigger than law enforcement and, and, and um, law enforcement alone is not going to solve this problem at all. Now it's really important to point out here, the heroin problem is not isolated to New Richmond. It can be found in virtually every community around us right now. But what is extraordinary is the transparency that Chief Harvey is providing on this problem. I've been doing this for over 30 years and I have never heard any cop talk so honestly about his frustration with the drug trade. And we will have more of his extraordinary interview and his search for solutions coming up tomorrow. Certainly speaks Curtis. volumes about the epidemic. Rich, thank you. Since New Richmond's canine started in January, he and his handler have made 40 drug arrests. The meeting tomorrow evening has strong support from the New Richmond business community and is being held at 6 p.m. at the old school building.